Hi, I am Mandy of Mad Cow Mandy Designs. It is April 13th, 2023, and this is Stitch 57. Uh, I have knitting, crochet, personal, work, more work to share with you. So let's go ahead and get started with finished objects. Da -da -da! I finished my new pattern socks. Yay! Okay. The yarn is Southern Skeins Bumble Bloom sock set. Uh, it was one of the monthly mystery colorways. Uh, love this purple. Oh my god, love it. I might use the other half to make mittens. Love this color. Okay, uh, you really can't see the pattern because the yarn is so variegated. Again, I'm going to do this on a more solid sock. I might pull out some of my Felici self-striping and make this pattern again, just so that it actually shows up and you can see it. When I get back from vacation, I'll be calling for test knitters. So if you're interested in that, the next video that I put out will have the call. I don't know if that's going to be on the 27th or the following week. I haven't decided yet. The next video is going to have it. And I am going to ask that my testers have Instagram because it's easier. So if you need to set up an Instagram, go ahead and here's your warning. Um, yeah, I'm excited. It's it's pretty, it's simple, and it just gives it that little something so that it's not a vanilla sock. I love it. Okay. Ooh. Almost lost it. Okay. Next up is for work. I made some baby socks. And some more baby socks. Uh, both of these are leftovers from Southern Skeins, uh, my Christmas advent. So this, I believe, was Rudolph, and I think this was Snowman Sam. Uh, they still need to be blocked, and then they'll go on little wooden blockers like this one, but they say Baby's First Socks, and I sell them at shows because it's just so darn cute. Uh... I did make one more. I believe this one was called Hermie, and I ran out of yarn. I made one sock and I ran out of yarn. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with one. It's a bit of tennis sock, but I'll just hang on to it for now. I'll put it in the baby sock bag and maybe inspiration will strike eventually. My last FO will actually segue into works in progress. So I have a bag. <laughs> um, Pam ordered, I think it was sheets, and it came in this nice bag. So she gave it to me because she knows I use random bags sometimes. And it's nice to have a big bag. Okay, this I can actually show you a little bit of a before and after. If you've been to the big box stores, you have probably seen these. It's a cake of yarn and a little stuffed head. Uh, they are all Sesame Street and Lion Bran makes them. Um, I didn't realize until I got home with the yarn that it is a one hat wonder and inside the label is instructions on how to knit a hat. I think it's knitting. Yes, it's a knit hat and apparently it only comes in one size. I didn't know it was specifically designed for hats and then that was supposed to be your little palm on top. Um, 
I saw a lovey. I was like, these need to be loveys. So I made them into loveys. Uh, this is my pattern. It's just a granny square with five sides. Um, that way, you know, babies can really get their fingers in there and play with it. But I have Oscar and Elmo. Cookie Monster. <sighs> These two are my favorite. I love Oscar and the Cookie Monster. And of course I have Big Bird. Here is Ernie and Bert is still in the bag. So I am just working through these. They will go with me to shows. I'm not going to put these in Etsy because copyright and fun things like that. I have no idea how any of that would work. Uh, so I'll just take them to shows and sell them there. But I thought they were pretty cute. So just simple, easy does it. And I was a little panicked because I realized I was working on the baby socks and I realized that I only had two loveys in inventory and they take a while to make because it's an amigurumi head and arms and then I just happened to stumble into the store stumble into the store I went in the store on purpose but I stumbled across these and I couldn't resist the price Six ninety nine down to one seventy four dollar seventy four. So I could make them, turn around and sell them, and this is the part that doesn't take very long to make. It's making the head and the arms that takes so long. So I've been popping out about two of these a day. I have two more to go, and then I may have bought a whole nother set of them. But I'm only going to make the six for my next show. My next show is the 29th. So I have a little bit of time, but I also have a lot going on between now and then. So, like I said, that kind of brings us to whips because I still have two more of those to go, but I did have four finished ones. The only other whip I have to share with you is in my hedgehog bag from Miss Fiber Fox. I'm at it again. So I am using Southern Skeins Lemongrass, which I believe is a colorway in her shop right now, and Easter Basket. Focus, um, which was a colorway from two years ago, one year ago, been a minute, that's all I can remember, but I am working on yet again a shorty sock. I'll get this figured out. Yup. That's my heel. So I was talking with my friend Erica and she made a very specific recommendation. She told me that the journey socks do not work for a lot of people in this style. Not, not necessarily the journey sock, but this style of no-show sock really doesn't work for most people. So she suggested this shorty sock it will show but I think this bright lime green lemongrass color will go well against the yellow shoe so she told me to do two no ten rounds of two by two and then five rounds and put in a heel so I mean it's that's gonna be short we will find out um, so yeah, that's as far as I've made, and when I get the whole first sock finished, I will do a try-on with the shoe and see how it goes, make sure that 
the back of my heel isn't rubbing, that kind of thing. Actually, I, no, I can't try it on with the needles still in there. So when I get the first one done, I'll do a try on and I need these at the end of next week. I think I'm supposed to be wearing them next Saturday. As long as I focus, I should be able to get these done and knocked out. But that's kind of what I was, what I was saying about the fact that I'm busy because I need these by next Saturday. I have a few days next week and a few days the following week to make stuff for my shop before I go to a show. I don't, I don't know. It'll eventually get done. These might be getting finished on the plane on the way to vacation. <laughs> oh, who knows? But I am working on that. I will say, I just, I love this, col this color combination. So I wasn't a huge fan of this color simply because it's kind of light and I just don't do light colors, but with that green, that that just makes it. The, oh yes, it makes all the colors in it pop. Love it. That's the only thing I've been working on. Because I used Scrappy Sunday to make baby socks out of my scraps. And then I've been doing other things for work. And that, that, oops. That is all the yarn content. We are at 12 minutes and I've already shared all of the yarny content with you. So uh, that brings us into chatter. I have a couple of work points and then I will just, you know, life. Uh, so work, I am going on vacation the 20th through the 23rd. Um, that is like a Thursday through Sunday. So there will be no podcast on the 20th, maybe on the 27th, because I'm busy. I've got a lot going on in a lot, in, in just a little time frame. So there may not be one on the 27th either, but when I do come back, there will be the test pattern call testers. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um... And I have started a monthly newsletter. If you have signed up for email with me, then you received one on Friday. Maybe it was Saturday. I can't remember. But I sent out the first one called The Best of March. And I'm going to send out a monthly newsletter giving you the highlights of everything I've done for the month. So if you miss an episode or you know, life gets busy and you just can't watch all the episodes, then you'll still get an email that shows you the highlights of some of what I've done. Um, any big work announcements that I have will be in there, like vacation, sales in the shop, that kind of stuff. Um, a little bit of personal knitting, personal life, a little bit of everything is in there, but like I said, it's mainly just the highlights and I'll be sending that out at the beginning of every month for the previous month's highlights. Yeah. So if you are interested and you haven't signed up, you can go to my website. Links down below. It is madcowmandydesigns.com. Scroll to the bottom of any page on my website and there is an email sign up form. Plug in your name. And your email address. I think that's all it asks for. I think it asks for your first last name, email, hit submit. It will automatically link over to my MailChimp, which is the service I use to actually send emails with. Um, it works. It does work. I had it tested um, because I think I said on here once before that I have a pop-up that'll ask you to join the email list and somebody informed me that it wasn't there anymore. Ends up that Squarespace, my website 
host um, has changed some of the features on their service and pop-ups are now an upgraded feature. So they just removed the pop-up that I spent like a week trying to figure out how to add. They just removed it and I was like, that's, that's nice. So bottom of any page on my website is an email sign up. Okay. That is it for worky stuff. Uh, personal life. My ears are much better. Thank y'all. Um, I did go back to urgent care and have them checked and cleaned one more time and everything's good. I can hear. It's magical. They are a little tender. Uh, I asked the doctor. She said that it'll last a few days and it's just kind of, I don't know, right through, right through here is very tender and loud sounds are loud. They're, they're painful. Um, but at least I can actually hear my husband when he talks to me now. So that's doing good. Speaking of husband, on Sunday, we put up a new mailbox. So we actually kept our box off the old post. We put up a new mailbox post. Let's put it that way. Um, we have three mailboxes that are all clumped together. The, the three houses here, we all have our mailboxes right there together. And there was this big plant growing on top of them. It was cute. I didn't like it because, you know, bugs, like spiders and wasps, they live in there and mm, I didn't care for it. Well, the plant started to die and one of the neighbors trimmed it back and it didn't, it, it definitely didn't make it through the cold that we had this winter and it died. So they finally just completely removed it from the mailboxes and now our mailbox didn't like this. Apparently that was a structural plant. It was holding our mailbox up. So the other people's mailboxes are fine. They weren't swaying. Ours was swaying. Ends up that the post rotted off at the ground level and my husband just kind of gave it a couple of tilts back and forth and it snapped right off. So yeah, I was one mailman having a bad day away from my mailbox just getting snapped right off. Uh, we started, so he snapped off the post and then we started digging because we were going to make a new hole for a new post and immediately hit concrete. Our mailbox was in with concrete. By the way, if you go to USPS website, they tell you do not install your mailbox in concrete. They want it to do as little damage as possible if somebody runs over your mailbox. So we had to dig up a two foot long tube of concrete and uh, thankfully his dad came over and supervised us. <laughs> As soon as we hit concrete, we, we were on the phone. Uh, he came over, he supervised, and we didn't have to dig all the way down to two feet. We just had to dig down far enough that we could wrap a chain around it and pull up. So my husband was able to lift straight up and that tube of concrete came out and that made it so much easier. We have a new post that we put in and then we bought a vinyl cover so the actual white T part of our mailbox that you see is a vinyl cover that just slips over a four by four post. And like I said, that's our old box. I have a new one picked out on Etsy that's an extra large, so I can get lots of mail in there. The mailman won't have to walk up to my door constantly. Um, I do try to make it a little easier for them. But yeah, so we will eventually order that box in. Just pop it on there. Shouldn't be a problem. So that was fun. That was our Easter. <laughs> um, and I 
far as vacation goes, I think I have an outfit. Unless I find something better, I think I have an outfit and it does require me to wear heels so that it doesn't drag the ground. So I put on, I put on my trusty heels. They went perfect with it. I took five steps and it snapped. So I had to go buy new shoes. I could not find anything that was closed toe, but I did find this. It's Lucky brand. I found it at TJ Maxx. And as my husband pointed out, it looks a lot like your old shoe. Like, oh, well good. Maybe this one will also last 20 years. Y'all, this is a Mia. I don't even know if they make this brand anymore. You can see my toes. That, that's, that's gross. I wore these for 20 years. Pretty close to anyways. I, I've had them since high school. Um, so it's a nice nude, neutral heel. It is a chunky heel, so I'll be able to walk in it. Um, yeah. Like I said, I did want closed toe. Um, not something I've ever really mentioned on here, but I don't wear open toe anymore because, uh, yeah, somebody's missing some toenails. <laughs> I had really bad ingrown toenails and I'm gonna save you the big, huge, dramatic story of all of it. But, you know, things happened and I'm now missing portions of my toenails. Uh, and it's enough that it looks awkward. Um, if I think if they were completely missing, you wouldn't really notice as long as like I don't paint any of the nails, you probably wouldn't notice that they were missing, but because there's like a fourth of one and a half of one, it's noticeable. So I had bought some toenails. <laughs> Y'all, this has been an adventure. I still don't have a hat to wear, but I have toenails. Um, I currently, they came in today. I currently have three of them glued on to see how long they'll last because it would be easier if I could glue these on at home and wear them the whole weekend. But I also don't wanna get halfway through dinner and a toenail fall off. So, um, just, you know, so we're clear. My toenails don't bother me. They don't bother my husband, but they seem to bother other people. I've had multiple people tell me, your toes are gross and you need to not wear flip flops. So, since we're gonna be at a, you know, nice-ish dinner with all of his coworkers, um, I will do my best to not gross people out. <laughs> oh, y'all never know what kind of weird, wild adventure I go on. You know, last week it was the ears, this week it's the toes. You never really know over here. But I think that's everything I have to share. That was probably a little bit of too much sharing there. Oh well. Uh, I will not be back next week. I might be back the week after that. Maybe it'll be the week after that. I will be back eventually. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so I hope y'all have a wonderful couple of weeks and I cannot wait to get back and talk to y'all some more. Bye.